This is project 22 of Hacking with Swift. In this project, I'm going to introduce you to a technology Apple first introduced in iOS 7 called iBeacons. We're going to make a project that detects and ranges beacons in the physical world, which in turn means learning how to ask your user for their location. With this, you'll have all the tools required to make your own location aware apps. Just scatter a few beacons around your house. If you don't have any iBeacons at home, that's okay because most people don't. Instead, I recommend you install the app Locate Beacon on your iPad or iPhone, because that comes with an iBeacon transmitter built in, making it perfect for testing. You also need an iOS device that's compatible with iBeacons, which is any modern iPhone or iPad. I'm afraid though, the iOS simulator won't work with iBeacons, but you can at least follow along with the code. Whichever device you use, please make sure you have Bluetooth enabled. We've got so much to cover, so let's go straight to Xcode. Choose Create a New Xcode Project. Select iOS, Single View App, then press Next. Call this thing Project 22, then press Next. And create on your desktop. Now, if you've never pushed an app to a real device before, you need to make sure you select the device from the list of destinations. You can do this by selecting up here, this is where the device menu is. And by default, if there's no device plugged in, it'll be a simulator like the 10R or the SE or the 8 Plus or whatever. At the top is the device list. And when your iPhone is plugged in, you should see it right in there. Now, if you see the word ineligible in there, it means your device is running an older version of iOS than your project's designed for. So you have to go to your project settings here and change deployment target from, say, 12.2 down to an older version that your device actually supports.